Well, from the sublime to the ridiculous, Crystal Palace are still without a win or indeed a goal this season. Mark and Elliot Steele are trying to look on the bright side. What I love about it here, it's not about the results, it's about community. My favourite moment here was a freezing cold night, February, and we scored a ball roll between someone's legs. They scored when it bounced off someone's back or something. And the bloke behind us went, Oh, I'm enjoying this. I've always said football's so much better when both teams are shit. <laughs> I was really excited about the appointment of Frank Neboyer. Bit of expansive football for a change, isn't it? Yeah, that was until we went 3-0 down in the opening game of the season. Premier League, though, you're not going to do well against the top teams. Yeah, like newly promoted Huddersfield. Some fans, they think things aren't working at the moment because we've got a record number of games with no points and no goals. It won't get better than that as far as chances for Crystal Palace. I think goals are overrated. Yeah, you can prove anything with statistics, aren't you? <laughs> to be fair, we did break the transfer record with Menteke. He's injured. Yeah, but when's he fit? October. And we have got our greatest player for at least 30 years, Wilf Zaha. He's injured. When's he fit? November. And we've got a backup striker, Connor Wickham. He's injured. When's he 2025. So who have we got a striker then? That bloke there. And I'll be there Now, the Emirates might have your padded, comfy seats, but we have got our own Sainsbury's. Might lose 3 0, but at least we've got the shopping done for the week. Sometimes it can feel here like the biggest deals done on transfer deadline day are in there. I hear that Eileen from Fortin Heath has agreed a two year deal for a set of cushions amounting to £13.50, with possible add ons of 5p for a plastic bag and 2,000 nectar points. At least we know how to keep everything in perspective. That's the brilliant thing about supporting Palace. We never take things too seriously. Get better. Get better. Get better. Get better. Get better. I'm not sure that Elliot and Mark are going to feel any more positive anytime soon. <laughs> Manchester United and Chelsea, the next two fixtures. What can Roy Hodgson hope to get from those two games? Well, well, he's got to create an identity in that team, just not just for the players, but for the fans as well. And even if they don't win either of those next two games that are coming up, he's going to want to come off the pitch with, the, with some positives. So whether that's how the defensive unit play, whether it's the chances they create, whether it's a goal that they've been looking for for you know, since the start of the season, something that he can start to build some positive feeling around. Um, so the performance is, performances of those next two games is absolutely vital. Like, imagine being a Palace fan and like, you haven't had one reason to cheer yet. Like, there's mm. been no goal. Mm. Like, you'd be cheering for a substitute or something. I mean, like, it's, it's, they just need to score and hopefully it will all come flooding through. It's Apparently so they go mad over a corner. <laughs> <laughs> like a goal. Well, <laughs> and we know Roy's philosophy with those, apparently. Uh, it's very difficult, isn't it, for, for the whole philosophy, though, to be turned round in, in a few weeks. Yeah, you're going from the Dutch Revolution, uh, of Frank de Boer, to uh, back to basics under Roy Hodgson uh, within the space of a couple of weeks. And it's hard enough to change uh, a team's playing style when you have pre-season, everybody ready, and uh, you know a calm uh, environment. Now you're doing it with the bottom uh, of the table looming large over you. Um, key players injured, and already uh, a failed change of uh, identity behind you. So it's an incredibly tough job and sp spot for Hoy to be. For the Roy thing to that be they in. potentially will cheer about is that he did it for Fulham. So he did do it for Fulham, but they scored. <laughs> so they just need to score. <laughs> I could be a manager, you couldn't could I? Be, I could be, be a manager. Actually, I don't think we'll You're see you here again. No, probably we'll not. Have a club next time I ring you up. I'll be at Crystal Palace. <laughs> Before we go.